nestled into the hills of the quiet little town of Ojai is where you'll find the Rio Gozo farm. Rio, which means river in Spanish, and Gozo, which means joy, is run by farmer chef and now full-time farmer John Fontaine. And if you watch him work long enough, you'll realize just how much Gozo is actually flowing around these parts. Good morning. You too. How are you all? I mean, my first love with food was really preparing food and cooking it. I just kind of felt like since food was a relationship I'm going to have my whole life and one I check in with three times a day, that it'd be good to really kind of explore um, it deeper. And John gets to explore his love for food every day now across three and a half acres of various row crops at the farm. He picks, washes, and packs the produce from sunrise to sundown and has built a connection not only to food but his local community too. He operates a thriving community-supported agriculture business, delivering to homes and offices. In addition, he struck up relationships with local chefs like Tim Kukoin of the Sidecar Restaurant in downtown Ventura, offering them an outlet to get produce they may not find elsewhere and offering them advice from a chef's viewpoint. Something like this? Is this what we're looking for? Okay, cool. I love to speak to him about, like, what would you like to see next season? And so we can start talking about how um, we can plan his menu basically from a seed catalog and, and, you know, have it to where the diners can understand that, you know, your dinner didn't just take an hour to prepare, it took 110 days. Because that's how long ago we thought about what you'd be eating, what you might like to eat. And these are some of the tomatoes that are getting ready, but we can pull these today. This is the male flower, and then this is the female flower, because uh, it's got the fruit on it, and then no fruit here. His background, which is also one of the great things that I enjoy like working with him, uh, is that he actually has a chef experience background. Um, you know, so I mean, he knows from my perspective, he knows exactly what, you know, what I'm thinking or things like that. John estimates he feeds about 165 people through his CSA program. And now, thanks to Tim's help, a countless number of other folks who dine at the restaurant have been introduced to this farmer and his produce. And as a farmer, what better way to find out what people really think about your produce than to invite yourself to dinner every so often? John's biggest belief is that food connects people, and so he jumped at the opportunity to connect with his community when Tim brought up the idea of having a farmer dinner at his restaurant. All of the food comes from local farms within 100 miles of the restaurant, and farmers like John get to put a face on the people growing the food that this community is eating. Um, and it's kind of, you know, to introduce the, you know, the, the public to their local farmers and, uh, you know, kind of get the farmers, you know, out from uh, behind the tents from the farmer's market or, or actually out in front of the public so they can shake hands and, you know, people, especially nowadays, people want to know where the food's coming from, which is important. So this is just another avenue to be able to do that. Well, so often, like, when you're picking food and selling it, you just pick it, you put it in a box, and it disappears, and you don't actually get to see um, the people that are eating it. So it has a huge impact on me to, like, just be able to put a, a face with um, whom I'm feeding. So as the seasons change at Rio Gozo Farm, one thing remains constant, John's love of produce and people. And that's a connection that won't be broken soon for him and he hopes for others too. And yeah, we all gotta eat. You know, I mean, we can't, we can't just keep putting up house after house after house and hope that, um, you know, Mexico or Chile or China will be the people that are like the guardians of our food security. And, you know, to assume that everything will just plunk right along the way it is right now and there'll be no interruption in those things is naive. So um, I think it's important to support local farmers. And I liked, I just generally liked farmers. Mm -hmm.